We will join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Monk. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts within human strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory. It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> that could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like he's going to be leading the Western units. I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army, and who decided to fight for the Church. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. He must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Hmm. Teacher... I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as Prime Minister and is under house arrest in the Imperial Capital. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate he deserves. And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the Empire, to be disgraced like this. I am conflicted, Professor. I do not know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into battle? Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other, but now I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a choice of irony, I feel. But I am having no regrets. My belief is with you and with Edelgard. Edelgard became Emperor and raised an army, huh? I knew the kid had it in her. I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be Emperor eventually, but... The more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. Don't even get my own room here! At least I have that at home. But speaking of home, Hubert told me something. He said my father was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Wait, does that mean my father's going to be home all the time now? On second thought, I think I'm fine right here. Okay. Yep. Yes, I've been preparing to take this path. My own path. Not my old man's, and not the boar's. Hey there! Oh! Yes. Professor. I can't bring myself to trust the Church of Saros. Not after they killed Lenato and my brother. I need to know the truth. Even if it means turning my weapon on Fargus. <sighs> I guess Lenato would be happy to hear me say that. If he were still around. A moment, please. 
Surely this is what the goddess willed, isn't it? I feel she would not have wanted the Church of Saros to become what it has. I may return to Galatea territory and try to convince my father to join our cause. It's possible that... <sighs> no. In my heart, I know that my father won't listen. Still, I must get him to see reason. That this is the only way to ensure our family's future. Right, right. I've gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh, my knees turn to jelly just thinking about it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified, but I feel so calm. Professor, I'm okay with fighting whoever we need to, but I really don't want to battle my father. Oh, but I know that something is wrong with the church. And more than that, I believe in you, and I trust your word. You lead, and I'll follow. Imagine making half the world your enemy for the sake of realizing your own ideals. Edelgard is so radiant and strong compared to someone like me. What if I have the power to change the world too? Even just a little bit. Yep. Professor, so, you've turned against the Church to ally with the Empire too, huh? I've never pressed him for details, but Captain Geralt was always suspicious of Lady Rhea, wasn't he? I'm on your side no matter what. I promised him I'd support you, and that's what I plan to do. Professor, if the Church is behind the current state of things, this society in which only crests are valued, then I have no need of it. Edelgard is taking the shortest path to change. No matter how drastic her measures, I agree that this is the only way. That said, if Edelgard strays from her noble path, I trust you will set her straight again. Won't you? I am counting on you, Professor. No need to worry about me. I got no complaints as long as my little sis is safe. Sure, I lived on Alliance land, but that doesn't mean I serve their lords. I'm sure this is the right path, seeing as you're the one who picked it, Professor. To think things would come to this. Even a few months ago, I never could have imagined it. I believe in you, Professor, so I'm stealing myself. I can't promise that I'll be useful in battle, but I'm not running away from the fight. I've decided to ally myself with Lady Edelgard. Father will doubtless understand my reasoning. House Gloucester has always had good intentions in its dealings with the Empire. Of course, this does mean I will no longer be able to avoid a confrontation with Claude. It is unfortunate. We were classmates after all. Surprised that I'm here, are you? I know a winning side when I see it. I mean, there's no way I'd risk my neck and my people by willfully joining a losing battle. I do. We'll see how this all shakes out. It all depends on how we, and you, fight. Regardless of who comes after us, even if it's the Knights, we've got you on our side, so it'll all be fine. I knew nothing of Lady Edelgard's past or of her innermost feelings. But I know now. I persuaded her to tell all. It would have been rude to hound her relentlessly until she revealed herself, yes? Then that's certainly not what I did! <laughs> With the Empire taking over Garrick Mach, I wonder what will happen to Abyss. Some people have spent their whole lives there. For their sake, I hope Abyss doesn't get trampled into ruin. Thanks. You should try talking about it with Eddie. I mean, 
Her Majesty. She might listen to you. Also, this is less important, but if somebody trashes my room, I'm gonna be mad. Deal, pal. You don't want me here? Come on, have a heart. This site is where all the action is. Look, I'll level with you. I want to help that Edelgard gal achieve her goal. I mean it. If Her Majesty gets what she's after, my mother will... Forget it. Now's not the time. We've got to keep our heads in the game so we can win, yeah? Having Yuri on our side will help things. He's not someone you want to have as an enemy. Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? I like it. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things, but I'm still proud to be here. Right, right. I'm a soldier, but I had to think long and hard about this one. Since birth, I've believed in the teachings of Saros without ever questioning them. But Her Majesty's words are true. To think that the Archbishop can take on such a monstrous form. To be frank, I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Edelgard says. But if her words are true, I think it's best to be her ally. So I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet, but I'll stick by it. Okay. I came this far mostly on impulse. But I wonder if it was the right choice. Everything will be okay, right, Professor? I'm not wrong, am I? If I know that you think it's okay, I feel like it will be easier to believe in myself. Yes. I have heard the name Lord Vestra mentioned among the Purge noble families of the Empire. He's Hubert's father, but Hubert seems rather unconcerned about it. That alone is why we soldiers find Hubert quite frightening. Ah, yes. yes. I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her Majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family, for the sake of my mother and sister. <laughs> 